By applause, how many people have seen a hypnosis show before? Great. And um, before I do every show, I always want to explain a little bit about hypnosis. Again, it's very confusing because what you see on TV, um, and I've been on a few TV shows as well, and uh, so I want to clear up a lot of those big myths. Um, there's two parts to it. What I do is the comedy hypnosis, and also there's a clinical aspect to it as well. And I'm a certified instructor, and I teach people literally from around the planet on hypnosis. And uh, how it's used in the clinic type of thing is that um, from the time you're born to about eight years old, some imprinting is done, and uh, you kind of take on everything as your truth. Not the truth, but all the stuff that you're told is taken in, and it's kind of stored in what we call our subconscious mind. Around eight years old, something else starts to happen. Something develops over here. We call it the goalie, or your critical mind, your critical factor in hypnosis. And uh, once this locks up, how you behave reacts on everything you've taken in for, in that imprinting age. So in the clinic, with hypnosis, hypnosis is simply a technique we use to relax your critical thinking. So once you get hypnotized, it actually relaxes this critical factor. The goalie opens you up to positive suggestions. You can also let out negative behaviors and also introduce uh, new behaviors as well. In the comedy hypnosis, again, we put some funny suggestions in there and have a little bit of fun with it because it's about laughter and fun. So there's a lot of different uses for it, and uh, I just want to talk about some of these myths. The first myth... Um, you have to be weak-minded in order to be hypnotized, right? I'm here to tell you it's exactly the remedial opposite. You have to be totally in control of your mind in order to be hypnotized. Uh, some people tell me I'm too strong-minded to be hypnotized. It just means that they can't accept the suggestions or aren't willing to accept suggestions to go into hypnosis. Okay, so once you understand that you cannot get stuck in hypnosis, uh, probably one of the biggest myths and uh, usually when people get stuck, what we call it getting stuck, is um, they're either working on something, so something's going on in their life, and they don't open their eyes right away, or they went into sleep, or they're acting out or pretending, or they want attention. So those are the only three things that can happen. Um, I get called all the time about somebody got stuck in hypnosis. You cannot get stuck. If you could get stuck in hypnosis, you would not wake up in the morning, okay? So you'd have a tough time with that. But what happens when you go to sleep at night, though, too? You go into a deep REM slate, uh, state, and uh, with hypnosis, we put you there very quickly. So one of the benefits of being hypnotized when you're in REM is that uh, about 15 minutes of hypnotic rest is equivalent to many hours of regular sleep. So, uh, again, we were talking about recharging earlier. So if you want to recharge yourself, we have something called self-hypnosis, a two-minute exercise, and uh, you can recharge yourself for a short periods of time. So it's very interesting that way. Um, some of the side effects of being hypnotized, um, you'll come up on stage, and, uh, again, that 15 minutes of hypnotic rest will come into a full night of regular sleep. And also, you'll be up here for about an hour in a regular show, and it would only seem like a few moments. Some people think the show hasn't even started yet because you have no sense of time. It's called time distortion. So it's very interesting that way. Much like if you've ever driven somewhere and forgotten to drive completely. Right? And that's what they call highway hypnosis, and there's a whole page on that in the driver's handbook. So it's very interesting. Um, I need a couple of volunteers quickly from the audience. Uh, this lady right here, and a gentleman has a unique ability to allow their mind to go completely blank. Right here, you got your hand up? Okay, come on up here quickly. I'm just going to pull out another microphone. Okay. And we talk about our conscious mind and our unconscious mind. I want to do a little demonstration. So what I'd like you to do, this is really easy. What's your name? Madeline. Madeline. Go through the ABCs as fast as you can out loud. Go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, I, K, L, M, F, E, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, 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 S, I, N, Z. So fast you couldn't even keep up, right? Okay. It's pretty easy, isn't it? You think you can beat her time? I'll try. Okay. Listen carefully. I'll give you a little technique and you can take this home with you. Go through the ABCs as fast as you can. Every other letter. Go. A, C, E, G, I, K. <laughs> Okay, give him a hand for even trying. That was pretty good. That was good. You can have a seat in the audience. Great. Thank you. I didn't mean to embarrass him, but we're just showing that your critical factor, your critical mind can only do one task at a time. So every time you learn something for the very first time, it's very awkward. And if you'll notice when he was standing here, his eyes were rolling up inside his head because he's trying to access memory, which isn't there. He hasn't done it before. Whereas she went through the ABCs very quickly because it's been stored in there your subconscious mind. So it works like that. Just like riding a bicycle, it's very difficult the first time, but once you do it a few times, um, you can ride around with your arms off the handlebars. So it's much like that. You shouldn't do that, though. 
Okay, we're going to have a few volunteers come on up on stage really quickly here. Just come on up on the steps here and have a seat. Grab a seat anywhere. So one of, one of the things in hypnosis we teach in class is called a hypnosis induction. Now, induction is um, a process where, again, we get them to relax their critical thinking and they're open to positive suggestion. And I've talked to these people just uh, for a little bit here prior to uh, coming up on stage tonight. So everyone on stage, what I'd like you to do right now, again, is just hold up your hand in front of your face. Right there, good. I just want you to stare at your hand right there. Excellent, good. Right there, good. I want you to start to focus on the center of your hand, and you're going to start to notice as you focus on that spot. Your eyes are going to start to shift and change. And as you focus on that spot, just notice your eyes are shifting and changing, and now the hand is starting to draw closer and closer to your face. The more you focus, the quicker it comes. That's right, your eyes shifting, pulling closer and closer to your face. That's right. As soon as it touches your forehead, your hand will drop. You go into deep, deep, deep hypnosis, letting go of all the tension in your body from the top of your head all the way down to the tip of your toes. Nothing can disturb and nothing can bother. Good. Loose and limp, just like a wet dish rag. When I pick up your arm, you'll be loose and limp. Good. Nothing can disturb. Nothing can bother. Balancing yourself in the chair. Good. Excellent. Take another deep breath. Perfect. Now listen very carefully. I want you to take one more deep breath. Double the super relaxation just because it feels so good. You're doing perfectly. Now take one more deep breath and imagine yourself now on a beautiful vacation. You're on a beach down in the Bahamas. It's getting warmer and warmer. And as the temperature starts to pick up, you just notice you want to adjust your clothing a little bit for this hot, warm day on the beach. That's right, wiggle your toes in the sand. It's getting so warm. It's very crowded out here. And you notice that uh, somebody's got some nice cold beverages out there. So just flag them down, order a nice cold beverage, anything you want. Just take a drink of that beverage right now. It tastes so refreshing. Wow. And there's even some suntan lotion beside you. Grab that and just rub it on all those parts of your body. You don't want to get sunburned on your face, your arms, your legs. The more you rub it in, the more relaxed you become. That's much better. And everybody's having so much fun on this beach. Wow, but it's so hot. Let's get off the beach. There's a big hammock over here. And just lay in the hammock right now. Lay back. Look up at that blue sky. Get your beverage in your hand. You're on vacation. The best time ever. Wow. But as you lay in the hammock, you notice somebody left something on the hammock. It's under your back. There's a bump. Reach around and grab it. As you pull it out, it's a great big wad of money. Hey, there's a lot of money. There's no one around. It's your money. It puts a huge smile on your face. Just think of all the things you can buy with that money. But quickly, hide it away in your body somewhere in a secret place. Tuck it away. You don't want anybody to steal your money. <laughs> Much better. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of fun on the island, so let's just get out the hammock right now. We're going to walk down. There's some different doorways. It's a magic island. So as we walk through this first archway, it's becoming a weightless atmosphere. Your arms are getting lighter. Your legs are getting lighter. Everything's starting to become buoyant. You're starting to float up five feet, ten feet. 15 feet. The higher you drift, the more relaxed you become. Watch out for the other floaters, but just get kind of giddy floating around. It feels so good up here. Leveling off at 20 feet now. And check it out. Key into this. There's your beverage floating up beside you. But wait a minute. It's not in a bottle or glass. It's just drips of liquid floating by your face. Use your tongue. Here it comes. Get that first drip. And they keep getting bigger. Here comes another one. It tastes so good. Get this next one. It looks really good. But what is that floating up on the other side of your face? Looks like somebody's jock strap. Where'd that come from? Just push it out of the way. Now the gravity's coming back and you're floating down, down, down. Boom, back on the ground. Take a deep breath. Let's go down the hall into another room. As we walk in here, the temperature's changing very quickly. 
It's getting really cold in this room. It's dropping down to zero, minus five. You're dressed for the tropics. It's getting so cold in this room. You're starting to shiver and shake. You do anything to warm up. It's getting so cold in here. And check it out. There's a little penguin right beside you. Cuddle up that little penguin. He's really friendly. Hey, what a cool little penguin. But right in front of your face, key into this, there's a metal bar. It's frozen. And you always wonder what it's like to stick out your tongue on one of those frozen bars. You can't resist your tongue's going out, and now it's stuck on that metal bar. Oh, no. Try to pull it off, but it is stuck tight. Quickly, ask that penguin to get a bottle of water. He's coming over. Get the bottle of water. Pour it on your tongue. Okay, it's coming off. I was close. Take a deep breath. Let's get out of this room. We're back to tropical temperatures. Let's go back down the hall. Back outside. It's a beautiful day again. Just sit down on the beach. Take one more deep breath. Go 100 times deeper right now. Good. Now listen carefully. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to three. At the count of three, your eyes will open. You'll remain in trance. Respond to every suggestion without hesitation, without delay. Again, always aware of your surroundings. Never injure yourself or anyone around you. I know you understand. Nod your head yes. Good. But I want you to remember this. Whenever I say the word socks, whenever I say socks, you're going to smell this awful stinky smell. And then you're going to look, it's the person sitting next to you. You can't believe that they smell that bad. They don't even know it. You just look at them accusingly. And whenever I say Ted, whenever I say Ted, it'll be the funniest thing you've ever heard. You can't stop laughing. It's so funny. And whenever I say TEDx, it's going to become hilarious. That's right. And whenever you hear this snapping sound, whenever you hear this snapping sound, you're going to feel an incredible pinching on your butt from behind, but you won't know where it came from. And every time you hear that snapping, it'll get more intense. And when I say x-ray, I will be invisible from the waist down. It seems so weird, but every time I say x-ray, it'll become more intense. So remembering all those suggestions, starting on one, two, three, eyes open. Audience, give them a hand. They're just getting ready to start some things here. Um, I was cleaning up around here, and I noticed... Somebody left some socks laying around. Socks. I don't know where it's coming from. Hey, eyes open. Where's that smell coming from? Socks. Is it her? That's so strange. Now the smell's gone. There's no more smell. But has anybody ever heard of Ted? <laughs> I love Ted. <laughs> what's, what's so funny? <laughs> but Ted X is the best. <laughs> oh, I love Ted X. What, what are you laughing at? It's so weird. Now it's not funny anymore, it's gone. Hey, um, do you feel that weird sound? Pinching, getting more intense. Now it's gone. There's no more pinching. But has anybody ever been to the dentist and had an x-ray? X-ray, x-ray, x-ray. so weird. X-ray, X-ray, X-ray. What are you looking at? <laughs> and now it's gone. Your eyes are back to normal again. But TEDx is just the best. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Must be those socks right next to you. Oh, socks, socks, socks. <laughs> Just releasing back to normal again. Everything's okay. Good. Everybody looking up here, take a deep breath and close your eyes. Good. <sighs> Listen carefully. When I count to three, your eyes will open. You'll be clear and alert in every way, refreshed as a result of these few brief moments of super relaxation. But the person I'm touching right now, this person only, you're going to have a magic wand. 
your favorite magic wand. Eyes open. Hey, is that your wand? What's it? Do? What's it do? Watch this one. Touches your head, you go to sleep. Sleep right there. Good. Give our volunteers a big hand. Thanks a lot, everybody. Hope you had a great time. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.